Hi, my name is Jamel White. Today I will be teaching you guys about the empirical rule. The empirical rule is used forecast outcome by giving us a probability of potential data based on given data. Basically, should the new data be recorded or is recording new data is a waste of time. The empirical rule states based on normal distribution, almost all data within, will fall within three standard deviations of the mean. And this is what I have here, the first, second, and the third. The first standard deviation that I will be, that is the, um, the data is 68%. The second is 95 of data. And the third standard deviation Now that I have my my three standard deviations, I will be adding the formula to it. And the formula for is the mean plus my standard deviation. Formula one, I will be putting in what we know up here for my example. Ten years, what we know, the standard deviation, what we know, the mean and the standard deviation. For the formula two, I will be multiplying it by two. Multiplying the standard deviation by two. For formula three, I will be bringing everything down. And since it's the third formula, I will be multiplying the standard deviation by three. So this brings us to my example. My example, the lifespan of a tiger in the zoo, average lifespan 10 years. That's what we have here. The standard deviation is 1.4. What we have up here. So this leads us to a question. What is the probability of a tiger living in the zoo less than 7.2 years? Ten years, that's what we have up there. For step two, I'll be using formula one. And that's ten. So right where we know we have ten years. This is the two low sides. This the this the low. So 8.6 is lower than 11.4. So I plug it in. For the third, I will be using formula two. We know 10 years. We bring everything down. Each step. So we'll be using formula two for step three. And that will give me seven point two and twelve point eight. So now Plug it in. For the fourth, we'll be using the third formula. So we bring it down everything we know.
the four wheel be using the third formula. And that will give me, for the first one will give me 5.8, and for the second one will give me 14.2. It's leaving me with step five. For the fifth step, I will be plugging in everything that we have up here. All the data that we know, I'll be placing it like that. And Everything in the inside gives me 95% damp. So on this side, it's 2.5. And half the 5% equals the 2.5. So the probability of a tiger living less than 7.2 years is 2.5. 2.5. So basically, the whole thing. The reason because of everything, because of 2.5, is very low, not important, and help enough for a tiger to live in. So this is my probability. This is my answer. And that's living less than 7.2 years, and that equals 2.5.